Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, October 30th, 2020. If you like to support this channel, you're welcome to add subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So uh, our channel has also added a new feature, and that is a trading signal uh, system on the Patreon. If you'd like to join that um, uh, that system, you're welcome to click the link uh, below this video. So we'll start off by looking at the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly uh, today. And we pulled back a little bit, but this is a very promising candle for the, uh, for the US dollar index. And this is basically wreaking havoc on commodities and precious metals. Uh, foreign exchange pairs and of course also the stock market even though we had a rise in the indices today uh, and some of the, the tech stocks um, this could be big problems for those stocks as well so we ran into resistant at um, 94 uh, 94 which is a very symbolic number but at this point it looks like we are going to retest these highs of 94.74 if that breaks, then of course we'll go and retest the 200 moving average at 96. So the last time we had a major rally in the US dollar in uh, index was basically back in March. And when this happened, the market also technically collapsed. So pay attention to this. What basically happens here uh, will have an enormous effect on commodities, precious metal, basically the entire market because this is the US dollar. If you look at the, the technical indicators, they are all looking extremely bullish at this point, and there is a lot of room to the upside. We can see that the RSI is only a 57. We're not even close to being overbought. So there's a lot of move to the upside. MACD is looking uh, promising. The same goes for the stochastic. Same goes for the CCI. This is a very bullish signal that the uh, CCI is, is uh, giving at this point. If we fall from here, then the 50 moving average should be support. Uh, a rally will find first resistance at uh, at this top here at 94.72. Uh, break above that opens the door to the 200 moving average. So if you look at oil, this was my best trade of the day, and um, and um, this was also completely expected oil broke down quite significantly we pulled back uh, quite a lot we went all down to, all the way down to 35 uh, dollar range and then we rallied from there at this point we are fairly overbought so you can see that we are at the 734 uh, that is basically due to that to the fact that we we rallied back up but otherwise we were uh, over oversold I mean so at this point I'm not a seller because I expect this market to make a rally up towards the 200 moving average and probably the 50 moving average that would be basically the best entry point that you can enter this market where with with a selling position that's basically a rally up towards the 40 dollar um, range and then basically sell it there is no reason to expect this market to rally further than that the demand for oil is just not out there if you look at print it was even worse and that is mainly due to the fact that uh, the coronavirus is is raging in europe at the moment and uh, most of the economies that are going to sh are shutting down and are probably going to shut down in the nearest future and that, of course, will hit um, oil significantly. So we have created a new bottom here at $35. Um, a break below that opens the door to basically $30 and probably lower than that. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, the lows here and the highs here, we can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is exactly at $30. And that will mostly most likely be contested we mostly won't see this massive drop 
here. It's, this was due to all the storages being full and and uh, just a complete drop of 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 um, demand for oil because the world economy basically shut down in this period. And then you had this enormous drop. At this point, uh, we don't have that um, kind of production, and we are not going to see the entire world shutting down its economy at the same time like we saw in this period. So it will most likely be a more gradual decline, a rally up towards the 50, decline further, rally up towards 50, and decline further. So it will probably take it's maybe several weeks before we get to this level. But I favor the downside. I don't favor the upside in this market whatsoever. So rallies are uh, to be basically sold into. So if you look at W, no, natural gas, sorry, this was W guy. Look at natural gas. We broke down quite significantly and we found res uh, support at the 3.1581. That's where we found support. And that was not the uh, decline in natural gas that I was expecting. I was expecting a decline all the way towards the 50 moving average. We'll probably get that because we have not cleared the top of this range. And before we do that, uh, we are bound to basically trade sideways. We are quite overextended. We are actually really overextended. We are at the edge of being overbought. Um, some of the technical indicators, like the CCI, I have turned around, but the MACD and the stochastic are crossing the single line. So this is a clear indication that this market is about to turn around. And that will basically be what we've been waiting for because we need a pullback towards the 50 moving average in order to open up buy position into this market. No reason to, to sell this. This is basically buying the dips, um, getting close to the 50 moving average, and then buying to higher levels. We're in an uptrend, and there is no reason to expect that this uh, market is going to break down. Break below the 50, we'll find support in this area here, around the 2.5, and then, of course, the 200 moving average all the way down here. But at this point, we are expecting a pullback, waiting for that in order to enter for a buy position. Too risky to enter a buy at this at this stage. So if you look at copper, so we're just hanging around here at the 50 moving average. Um, we are most likely going to test the 50 moving average. We tested it nearly twice. We haven't gotten all the way down to there. But if, for example, gold uh, prices collapse, um, this is basically what happened to copper prices when uh, you know, oil prices collapsed uh, as well. And the reason for this is basically demand. If demand for these commodities uh, isn't there, then the price will fall. It's simple economics you need basically demand to bring the pressure to price up so so that's what basically I, i'm expecting to happen here uh, a break below the 50 moving average opens the door first of all to 2.9 then to 2.8 2.7 and then all the way towards the 200 moving average that is what i expect to happen if we rally from here the technically the highs first of all we find resistance here 3.1 and then we'll find significant resistance at 2.3.2. But I do favor the downside here due to the fact that the world economy is slowing down and it, it just will pressure the price da down. So if you look at technical indicators, they're all looking fairly bearish at this point. The MACD, the stochastic, and the CCI are pointing to lower levels. So a break below the 50 moving average technically is a signal that we can basically sell this market at least down to 2.9 and probably to 2.8 in the in the short run there's a lot of movement you can you basically in the middle does the, the, the rsi at 50 so there's a lot of room to the downside if this second can fall very aggressively similar to what basically happened here we have been in a gradual decline 
there is no reason for this absolutely stupid parabolical move here. So 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 um, we just wait whether or not we break below the 15 minute average. So if you look at gold, gold has yet again uh, rallied but have broken down again and it looks like we are continuing this um, this technically the same movement that we have seen for uh, several months now since the beginning of August. We broke down significantly from 2.073 uh, all the way down to uh, 2.866. Then we traded sideways for, for several weeks, broke down significantly again in the midst of September, then have been trading sideways underneath the 50 moving average. And now it looks like we are breaking down um, not as significantly as we did previously, but every stage of this breakdown has been slower. For example, this is a massive move. This is half of this move. And this looks like it's half of that move. So uh, what I expect to happen here is that we we'll mostly rally towards the 50 moving average, get rejected. Again, if you look at, for example, the CCI, it is turning around at this point, or that we trade sideways, or we go gradually towards the 1800, um, 1800 level, which I think will be our technically our bottom. So this was previous um, support area. We never tested it uh, again. We most likely will find most buyers will enter at 1800. So, so if we technically can get down here or technically get close to this level, that is most likely the best opportunity that you will get in order for a very um, to hold this um, trade for a very long time, because we are in uptrend, we are dipping at the moment. But just look at this: we're just gradually going much higher. And for the foreseeable future, due to the coronavirus and the world economy and so on, uh, there is going to be a massive amount of spending from governments and central banks and so on, which will basically just pressure this um, market to higher levels. If we break above the 50 moving average, which I doubt we will do, uh, we will find significant resistance um, in this area here. You see where we tested that. Uh, a long time ago, how often we tried to get through this area and did not manage. So break about the 50, we'll run into this resistance area and probably be uh, forced down again. So we need the necessary momentum. Um, the thing is as well that the US dollar index is going to appreciate uh, most likely and that will have um, a negative effect as well on this price. So. Low level lows uh, support should be 1800, highs should be the 50 moving average. So we look at the silver. We can see that we broke down uh, again, uh, pulled back. And at this point, we most likely will start trading sideways, uh, similar to gold. We have the same pattern here, break down, trade sideways, tr break down, trade sideways. And now we're in the midst of a, of a third breakdown. Uh, the very lows here will most likely be the, 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 the 200 moving average around 19 or $20 range here. Most buyers will come in and uh, buy this for the long run, similar to gold. A break above the 50 moving average opens the door to, um, to this resistant area here. And this will be absolutely havoc to get through. We just spent here similar to gold a long time getting through this and we just didn't manage to get through it and therefore we broke down and and yes we need the necess necessary momentum the us dollar is going to work against this market for um, at least a few trading days probably weeks um, depending on how much it appreciates as it's looking at this point if you look at technical indicators, uh, RSI is quite low. The CCI is pointing to higher levels. The stochastic is about to turn around, but the MACD is looking fairly weak or negative. So mixed signals, but I do believe we will go towards the $20 range um, before we go higher. You can also look at the Fibonacci retracements and uh, 
those retracement levels should be around exactly, for example, the 50, around the $20 range. So if you look at Gokoa, we can see when I, we continue our decline in this market, the technical indicators are looking even worse. The MACD has crossed the signal line, the casting is pointing straight down, CCI is pointing straight down, and we have some room left to the downside. However, how far will we go? Well, we are trading in the short run in this range of the highs of around 2.522 and the lows of 2.328. So if we break this line here, then that opens the door to 2.2. And if that breaks, that opens the door to 2.0. On the other hand, if we break above this line, that opens the door to these highs of 2.7. So we have the very highs of 2.7 and we have the very lows of 2.0. So keep that in mind, we are trading at this point within this range, but we are also trading within a bigger range. And we have traded in this range for a very long time. For example, here, we were in this entire area here, trading it within this range. The same goes for this area here. And now we're doing that again. But eventually we do break to the downside and we break to the upside. And whether or not we break this line, that opens the door to the very lows. If we break above, that opens the door to the very highs. So keep that in mind. At this moment, no interest in basically uh, entering this market market whatsoever because we are in the middle of nowhere we need a clear signal that we're going to break this line that we are going to these uh, these lows or we need to break the 50 moving average and this uh, this resistance line in order to trigger uh upside move so if you look at sugar We can see that we have continued now we started to continue to break down we found quite a lot of um, support here at 0 0.1433 uh, um, we have tested this several times in the past uh, the last two weeks but these indicators are trending downwards this is downwards momentum now and we are most likely going to see lower levels so if this breaks then we open the door to 0 0.1378 and then towards the uh, 50 moving average. And that, of course, is the buying opportunity that we have been waiting for. We could go past the 50 moving average. It's not a guarantee that the 50 moving average is uh, going to be significant support. We can see it here. What happened the last time we broke down, we went way past the 50 moving average and then turned around. Technically, we have to look at these indicators to, to, to um, give an indication when we basically are going to turn around. So I'll, I'll, I'll add that to my videos when that is going to happen. But at this point, just wait for the dip and then is basically the buying opportunity that will arrive um, at some point when we get close to the 50 moving average or underneath the 50 moving average. We are in a uh, upwards trend upward trend we have a significant uh, support line here so if we break the 50 moving average we will most likely run into the support line and then go continue higher we are you can also say within a channel here if we look like that we're in an up move, upward moving channel we're hitting the upper part or have the hit it uh, on Tuesday and now we're going back towards the lower part of this channel so this could be a selling opportunity and um, this is not my cup of tea but for people that want to take this risk that is uh, there is quite a far distance between where we are now and this uh, lower channel here but I like buying the dip so that is what I'm going to uh, wait for so we look at wheat we can see that we continue, we have now significantly broken down and we are heading towards the 50 moving average. Um, similar to, um, to sugar market, we have this 
trend line here, which coincide also with the 50 moving average. So when we arrive towards this area, that should be significant uh, support. And uh, we'll see most of these indicators will basically turn around and head to the upside. No interest basically in shorting this. This is also just wait until we get to these levels in order to enter this market. Um, we are in a, a upwards trend and there's no indication that this trend is going to break. We basically need a break between, uh, underneath this, uh, through this, uh, this trend line and the 50 moving average before we can basically say that we are going um, to see significant lower levels. Even then, we'll have significant, significant support underneath this, um, this market. So you look at technical indicators, they are all looking uh, horrible. So they are going, this is uh, going to much lower levels uh, when you look at these four indicators. We are at 3.53 on the RSI. That's a lot of room to the downside. We're not even close to being oversold. Uh, same goes for the CCI and same goes for the Castix, same goes for the MACD. We were very overextended. It was, this was completely expected that we're going to break down. But how far? Well, this trend line is a good shot at it, at the, um, basically being in support. And so is the 50 moving average. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. If you want to, uh, to um, get daily signals, you're welcome to head over to Patreon and join our signal service. Good luck and thank you very much.